we're here at the vault. Um, it is an art gallery here in Jacksonville at the uh, San Marco uh, Square here. And uh, the address is uh, 1957. Not to, uh, San Marco Boulevard. San Marco Boulevard. Yes, because I'm in St. Augustine. We have a San Marco Avenue. But you guys are in San Marco Those can Boulevard. get confused. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. And I'm here because this is a wonderful gallery. And I know you guys moved in March. But also, uh, you're in a great spot now. Much better than you were before. Um, but something big is coming. And tell me a little bit about that, Jim. Well, you know, in 2019, Jorge, and, and you were here for it, we, uh, we brought the art festival back to uh, San Marco. For years, uh, the, the festival was held when they, you know, shut the streets down and, and the artists pitched their tents on the asphalt. When they changed the traffic flow and, uh, you know, the, with the construction of Ballast Park, in 2019, we thought that we would try to put the artists in Ballast Park and not shut down traffic, and it was fairly successful. We had, in, in fact, so successful that we have around nine artists who were with us in 2019 who are coming back for the 2022 San Marco Art Festival. We're back and um, looking forward to uh, the 26th and the 27th, Saturday and Sunday following Thanksgiving Day and uh, we'll run the festival from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday the 26th and from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sunday the 27th. We have 25 artists in Ballast Park and they're 10 by 10 tents and uh, a little birdie tells me that Santa Claus will be in town from 3 to 6 in the gazebo in San Marco Square <laughs> uh, for the kids uh, to take photographs. Right, right. Uh, we're, uh, the, the Vault is the promoter for this festival in collaboration with the San Marco Merchants Association. Okay. And everyone in the square is looking forward to uh, the weekend following. You get over Thanksgiving, you eat a lot, and then there's Black Friday. Yes. Uh, and now, you know, it's time to relax that weekend and, and no better way to relax than and to come out to the, the square, we do not block traffic. And in fact, if you're lucky, you get in a parallel spot along Ballast Park, you step out of your car into an art festival. What could be better? Yes, yes. And I, th I think what's wonderful, you know, uh, this part here to me, always in Jacksonville, uh, has always been like, to me, the village in New York. It's kind of where all the artists gravitate and a lot of really cool things happen here. What's also nice of this square here is that you have all these wonderful other galleries along and wonderful places to have coffee, to catch a lunch, to, uh, it just has that, all the elements you need for a wonderful, wonderful festival. San, and, Mar and San Marco Square is a wonderful place. And, and as, you, as you mentioned, you know, the merchants, so you've got a bookstore here. There's artists signing books on Saturday mornings. Um, Sometimes we have a saxophone player playing in the square. Right. Uh, and so the ambience uh, is it, just great. Perfect place for an art festival. Right, right. Well, I thank you for that. And um, wow, I love this gallery. Uh, you carry a lot of artists that are known in St. Augustine, like McCormick, Anna Miller, Susan Chunka, and many other um, St. Augustine artists, because St. Augustine is also an art community uh, and so they share and you share with them and they share with you and I think that is so cool. And, now, I, and I, Jorge, I want to thank you for, uh, for uh, coming out to, to promote the uh, art festival. Um, you've worked for so many years uh, tirelessly uh, as the eloquent and gentle voice for culture and art not just in St. Augustine, not just in Jacksonville, the entire First Coast. And uh, we, uh, we will urge, using our program, urge people to, if they haven't listened and, and checked out uh, your resources to keep everyone informed of all, all the cultural events that take place in the First Coast, uh, that they get online and firstcoast.tv and, and uh, keep up. 
because you don't know what you're missing <laughs> if you don't know what's happening. All right. Thank you so much for those kind words. So everybody, come towards the end of November, um, we're going to have a wonderful, wonderful festival. This display system allows us to, to show the public more art. And that's Susanna Shunka there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. sure. It's mm -hmm. Trojan horse. Yeah. That's a Jiglai yeah. print of, of her original. Right. And look at this textured art. Eli Pupo from Cuba. Mm-hmm. And when he was There's living, a Harry down he there. In Cuba, Eli was a Frogman Special Forces guy. He moved to Germany, started painting. Uh -huh. And just like Harry was taking acting lessons. Uh -huh. and uh, came a thunderstorm, he ducked into a gallery, and the gallery director said, oh, you sketch, bring them in, let's take a look at them. And that's how this started. Yeah, Harry's painting a, a Jigley print mm -hmm. of uh, the Mandalay Bay. Mm. And so we, we keep a lot of art here. Um, and there's a, a wow. space there. It's so, wonderful you know, system. It's great. Yeah. And it has a mind of its own, but it's All right. proper to pr protect the art, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a great tool. Thank you.